not looking good for Team Minesi. How are they gonna deal with that? However, Nix and Sin can counter the bad rider a little with his spike rapace. But they're gonna need one defending supporter. They might have to pick something like Oracle on this pick. I think Oracle is a good idea. Get Oracle just to counter that flaming lasso. It needs to be Oracle. If they don't pick it at this pick, Execration will ban Oracle in the second in the second ban phase. So they have Juggernaut right there as the four hero once again for a duck for raging potato? Duck mid, do you think? Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Uh, uh. Outworld Devourer, third band from Team Execration. Not bad, isn't it? Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. Freaky band up. Execrations turn to ban. Do you know yesterday a MVP used a Riki to one over team execration? They end up picking it, they banned it out. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Could be Nixus in position four, like team play, uh, like team faces play, or yeah. as an off lane Nix. Be anything Dyer for mid laner. Back. Having a that two hero first is kind of, it's kind of good pick for Minesi. Manage to to hide their laning, their laning and their whole strat. But still, I Ten think Minesi need an oracle. Order to deal with the light zero and also the bat rider. Five seconds remaining. <sighs> Execrations turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Thank you so much for tuning in and support our tournament as usual. Uh, I gotta inform you guys that we have two matches today. After this one, we will have some highlight match. This um, team faces with the team MVP oh, Phoenix no. will be casted by Lysander Sonora. Dire team pick. Execration on Warlock again. Not so sure about that. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Uh, all right, guys. Let me check some settings a little. Vengeful spirits. Execrations turn to pick.
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <clears throat> right, Wentful Spirit for Mineski. Reserve time. Right, guys. Which doctor? Which doctor for execration? Dire team pick. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, I think uh, execration hero is kind of easy to execute. <laughs> Just like the team name. Rubik. Rubik. Turn to it's been a while since we. It, this is something very rare. Because normally we always have some some position four heroes, um, but it seems like in this game both parties just pick all the position remaining. five heroes like Warlock, Witch Doctor, Winter, and Rubik. Uh, no such thing remaining. like a Bounty Hunter or or a Beast or Enigma or even Hunter Earth Spirit. So it's gonna be a small tiny fight between all these position five. Uh, having a lot of range heroes like this. It's all about positioning. Uh, if you have a bad positioning and you cannot free attack when it comes to team fight, your Ten team gonna lose the team remaining. fight for sure. Because the fact that you are the range hero, you're supposed to Five max the max remaining. damage in team fight. Reserve time. Doc and Wallock. Right, boys. Think the last band from Team Expression. And Medusa. Dire team. The sound when you ban Medusa. <laughs> I really like that sound actually. Last band from Mineski TT Network. Uh, I'm sorry, last pick. Like they're still in need of. It Ten depends. It depends how they're gonna play the Juggernaut. They still got a slot if they want to pick another hard remaining. carry. However, they still got plenty of time around like 25 seconds. Time. Pick the last hero, what's it gonna be? While well, execration is in need of mid heroes. Morphling from the ACTT network. It's gonna be a famous Morphling by Miracle for sure. With a mid lane rating for Pater. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Mirana. Mirana, last pick from Team Execration. It's gonna be Mirana by Arbet. Interesting. Very interesting. So, uh, this. This is such a under pressure mat for team execration. Just one step away from elimination, and they pick Morana playing as a mid heroes by Arbet. Now this is really interesting.
Ten du, 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 du. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. All right. Match already. Gotta do some quick intro play on this game for team execution in the radiant side. Team on Warlock, Prepare DJ on Batrider, Abed on Marana, Gabby on Lightstealer, or Rappi on Witch Doctor. For team Nessie in a dire side, Raging Potato on uh, Marfling, Rako on Juggernaut, Ninja Boogie and Rubik, RR on Nexusine, and Jules on Vengeful Spirit. Let's see how good is that Abed Mirana mid. No, we, we don't see Mirana mid for a while. Now, what I am sure about the middle lane is it's gonna be quite hard to 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 last hit for Abed because uh, Mina, Mirana animation attacking animation is kind of slower than uh, than the Juggernaut slashing. So he might get denied a lot by Juggernaut. It all depends on on how he gonna harass and so on so on out the Juggernaut from farming the creeps. Thirty seconds to battle. Rana is going to pick it up. The price is mine. The the creep block is very important in the um, in the mid lane. Seems like it's gonna be raging potato morphling mid instead of juggernaut. Man, this is I I really surprised about that. And I think Abed is kind of surprised too. <laughs> he thought he, he is going to play against a Juggernaut, but it turns out Juggernaut by Morocco going top. Bottom lane is next to scene. Uh, solo lane against a duo lane by Warlock and Light Sealer. Bat Rider just gonna harass that Morocco spamming sticky knife on and using his Firefly dealing some damage. The arrow. The arrow to lock it. <laughs> Take a look at the uh, attack range. Uh, 630 attack range for Marana. Wow, this guy only got what, around like 30, uh, 350 attack range. Tried. Abed, very nice harass by Rana. Like I said, in the middle lane, it, it's always it's always important when these two teams fight each other, all about the middle, because uh, their play style is kind of similar. Uh, they use their mid laner to to be a playmaker. Now nah, that's gonna be the first team fight. Um, I'm sorry, not a team fight. It's a man fight between Morphling and Marana. Way form scene and oh, they eat his fairy fire. Also doing some strength gain. Now he got 420 HP. Up lane Rahu.
dragging the creep wave back power. Oh, it's pulling the creep wave. I think if there would be a team who started the gang first, it should be Mineski because if, um, Rubik and and when full speed it's very dangerous when it comes to roaming. Two just visible spells and also one damage from face bow is, is enough to finish anyone in this game. What about Nick's scene? Doing pretty okay, having a poor man shield staying at top lane where he was harassed by the fatal bond. Abbott. Oh, Abbott, look at the tower coming up from Abbott. That might be the first blood. But hey, strength can keep him alive. Raging Potato, that was really close. You don't underestimate the power of Arrow of Abbott. I used to be an Abbott. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Having a last hit, 3 2 at the middle lane for Abbott. Level 5, almost level 6. Dying Meanwhile, Bat Red of Bow Ninja Boogie. Spamming sticky nap on. The Ninja Boogie just walk away. Luckily, he got a boot, so. That's gonna be the first blood. I don't know why Ninja Boogie come back. Maybe he's trying to play some wards or something. Then yeah, he got caught by the Bat Rider and the Witch Doctor. Meanwhile, at the bottom lane, inside Ines is kind of rush and he's gonna take down the first tower in this game, which is the top tier one. They're not just gonna spin the creeps away. A Bat Rider coming in. But Bat Rider is still level 3, he cannot do much. They're gonna lose his tower for sure. Radiance top tower is under attack. Five minutes part. Take a look at the graph. Execration ahead in terms of gold earn, experience earn. But they are about to lose. The top tower is dragging on. Radiance top tower has fallen. They're not miracle. Yeah. yeah. Spinning around trying to take down the stacks of team execration. Safe for the bat rider. In the boy. Another arrow from Abbott! And dropping some star storm. That strength gain is kinda strong man. Abbott. Morphling, we only got 24 last hit. Abed doing slightly better than the Morphling. I think because of the uh, the way he stand, you know, his positioning. And also the range of Marana got much, much longer range from uh, Morphling, so it's gonna be quite hard for Morphling to stay near the creep wave without getting harassed by Abed. And that's the solo kill by Abed! On Raging Potato. Finally, he made a mistake. He tried to do some strength gain, but he was too slow. Dyer's two zeros already. Magic missile coming up. Here we go. Oh, he died anyway. Pop the magic stick. Can Abbott get away? Talay, can I assist? Can he? Oh, just so close. That's a big bet made by Abed. 
diving in so deep into the tower, kill the support and teleport away. Just like Sean Connery. <laughs> Eight minutes fast. Not looking good this game from Nathan's quarter to be honest. Oh, Impel on two and Mirazzo coming out from a tree line. A surprise uh, on team execration slash down that guy and Lysilla stays inside the creeps. Uh, how are they gonna kill the creeps? They just gotta wait, they just gotta keep surrounding the creeps. Uh. Need to be careful but the Nixa scene, he used himself as a bait. Uh, oh, a pretty good bait. Uh, not a good bait because he was hit uh, by the fatal bone uh, and forced Mirazzo to go in too. And meanwhile, the execration, DJ. Goes up. A mistake made by Nixon. Supposed to know that he's still on the fatal bone. And can kill him? Fatal bone level 2. Almost 10 minutes. Yes. Wait for me. <laughs> I'll bet wait for me to an arrow. Better be careful. That Mirana is quite. High damage. You got a face boot and a ring of Aquila already. Be high damage. Gabby doing pretty fine against things at the bottom lane. I kind of surprised that Minati not even once trying to gank uh, Abed in the middle lane. Not that hard to gank that Mirana down. You know, just need one disable, waiting for him to to lead, and then follow up with another disable. It things are already here. Alright, see. You need to be careful about that skills. Um, having a warlock, you, your team will be very strong when it comes to defending the high ground. Trap it. Being aimed by Nixxin. Yeah, from long range, jewels. Game is going on kind of slow right now. Nothing much going on. Take a look at the graph a little. Still execration in control, but if you take a look at the graph, you see that it's slowly coming down to the empty side. So they're trying to get the chemo. 
just gonna start with yeah here we go the inhale comes out and shooting the arrow very nice i copy the arrow and just one hit away and moonlight shadow just gonna keep that warlock alive and in from bad to good dropping some warlock golem and Nixerson goes down, next one's gonna be Ninja Boogie, double kills already for Gabby. Diving in for more, aiming for Murak, who's just gonna spin his way out the danger. Oh no. Just gonna come back and take the tower. And another mistake made by Team Minesky. That's not really good, you know. Uh, just one hit away from that Warlock. Only one hit. For Mended Marana, he uses ultimate to spin time. Talking about Marana ultimate when I when when I playing pubs, I always have Marana in my in my team, and that Marana always never add the ultimate. <laughs> I think Marana ultimate is very important. Should add it since level six. It can be used in so many many situations. Like use ultimate to save your teammate, it's very important, especially in uh, in early game when. When the uh, the other team doesn't have that much money to buy some detection, it's gonna save so many lives. Playing pretty bad. This one for Minesi, but it's too soon to say that they are going to lose this game because they have a Morphling. Morphling, power triad, and on his way to a Dragonlands. Didn't even care about Lincoln here. Just gonna go with Dragonland first. Get a Lincoln, then E Blade. Makes the scene stay behind, I think. Marana already used his ultimate, he's running out of mana. He might get impaled by Nixa scene. He leaped away. Not gonna run Oh impale, not gonna hit. Doctor. Oh, flaming last one. We need the life healer, but they didn't know that our eyes are out there too. Gappy need to run away. Actually, and I think nothing need to cancel his TP though. But he he got this one. He got a Nissan scene that replicate. He just can't just replicate back and use his waving. Um, not waving. I mean waveform, morphling, waveling morphlom. Oh, once again, I I I happy to see Minesky started to do something aggressive on to team um, execration. I just gonna gank me. This is a lot warlock. Not that easy to gank him down though. Gonna catch him. But meanwhile, in the top lane, Life Sealer and another heroes of team execration just dive into the tower and kill that Morphling. That's not doing good. They need to kill that warlock to revenge. Facing that, if I warlock. Maybe a making missile would be great. Simonetti like trying to bait that warlock to drop a golem. And of course, you want golem, you get golem. 9 to 1, Minesi is playing so, many, so bad this game. If the, the game keeps continuing like this, we might see game 3 for sure. And it's the same. Vendetta. Impale comes out on two targets. Telekinesis and very nice kill. Omni Slash and ad actually a double kill by Juggernaut. Getting a lot of gold, but I don't think he will get a chance. <laughs> he, he put that healing ward away. Oh man, Miracle. Micro Control is one of the best Southeast Asia, I believe. Do you know that one Miracle uh, used to play Juggernaut against Team MVP Phoenix and kill uh, and he played Juggernaut mid that game for for Miracle. I I remember it it was last year playing against Team MVP Phoenix 
fighting with Kiwo and Kiwo play Alchemist. Do you know what happened? Kiwo was 0 24. <laughs> Lost to Team MVP Phoenix. 0 24 Alchemist. What a strong juggernaut mid by Miracle. He played a lot of this hero, that's what I'm saying. So you don't underestimate the power of, of Miracle Juggernaut in late game. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Very nice scout by Nixasin, finding some guys of Team Desecration inside the uh, Radiant NC. Well, for now, Mineski needs to step back a little, you know, make sure that that Morphling can farm because that's, look at the Morphling item, that's all he got. Dragonlance and a Power Triad, not even a Lincoln Fear. You need a Lincoln Fear and then E Blade in order to, to um, bring his team back in this game. Blinking, very nice combo, release the Light Sealer, but I wonder if Light Sealer got enough damage to take down that Win Two Threat. Yes, he has. Finally dropped the Golem on that RR, only one target, frame break. Not a good frame break. But however, he still blink in and Flaming Last for back. That's two kills for Team Expression. Potato. Out of my way. Nice leap in. Not so nice actually. He already do the leap, so he might go down and that is the kills of Rubik. <laughs> he leap in, trying to kill, and then it turns out he's being killed that he stays that but Rubik gonna die. Kinda sad when you earn a lot of gold but you don't have a chance to spend it. It's just like when you work these days, guys, you know, you, you spend so much time on your office, work so hard, didn't even have time to spend your money, and then one day you're just having an accident and leaving this planet. What's the point, right? Work-life balance, very important, guys. Just like this modeling. Farms a lot, he didn't even care about having fun fighting with other guys. But that's what he needs to do. He needs to farm first. Uh, look at his item, he's still so far away from his Lincoln Sphere. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys some items update then. Rachel, however, he got 2k gold in his pocket and a mental style. That's not bad Radiant's at all. He got 2 kills, not even die yet. So, yep, he's now officially the host of Team Ineski. As always. It is always Ineski been looking for before he, they found Miracle. You know, they, they need some guy that can carry the team in such, in such a hard situation. And also Mirato, when he was with first departure, he also need a strong teammate, especially the strong for season 4 and 5 in order to help him to secure his safe lane. And yep, that's why they are here together.
Went full straight. Ah, uh, the bottom lane, some fight going on. A very nice army slash. Almost missed that action because this guy slashed so fast. That wall of go down. Now they inside the Roshan hit for Mineski. Oh, night shooting the arrow in. <laughs> that that sounds so weird. Shooting the arrow in. I I didn't mean to say that. Shooting the arrow inside the uh, Roshan pit. And that's just the bottom tower goes down for Team Minesi. Very nice one. They, it seems like they're coming back to this game bit by bit. As you can see from the graph, it's actually bounced back to Team Minesi side. They left. They know the bad rider gonna come. And bad rider is here. Playing Team Minesi a life healer. Trying to get rid of that Vengeful Spirit. Killing three sorry for Gabby. Going for more, Ninja Boogie is the pass get. Oh, nice flaming lack of drag back. It's gonna fall off with the impaled. Ninja Boogie will be safe. But I'm not sure about the next thing. Face created for Dragon Art mid. While they're trying to take that next thing down. A gem on a DJ. Radiance middle tower is under attack. May I cut in? <laughs> that guy, that guy, that rapid just used glimmer cape on himself. So almost killed a DJ. But luckily, DJ shared the damage from him and both of them safe. Now guys, even though the game seems to be uh, very good for Team Execration, but yesterday I gotta I got tell you guys that Execration also lost to Team to team MVP Phoenix just like this. They, they stomped MVP Phoenix in the early game, like the first 30 minutes, but they failed to end the game when they have such a big lead and yes, MVP Phoenix came back with a Nara Siren. So I doubt if they can close the game right now for Team Execration. Because I don't think that they can fight Team Mineski with, with Juggernaut and Morphling in late game. So they might have to end the game real quick. Ah, here you go. Fireflies already trying to find someone. Always Batman inside the Bat Rider. Blinking release the Life Stealer. Star Wave in True Spirit. And maybe a Nixa scene too. A double kill for Team Execration. Looks pretty bad. I mean, when the carry is trying so hard to stay alive in this game by farming, the other teams just keep getting caught. Bottom this is gonna kill the Graf. Graf will bounce back once again. Game will be like this for a while. Like I say, Mineski, all they need to do is just play hide and seek, trying to hide, try to farm as much as possible. <coughs> oh. 
Piranha. I think his item is kind of stuck. You only got an Agonim Scepter and a Blink Dagger for a while, that's definitely not enough to fight in late game. While Morphling is on his way to E Blade, it seems like Minesi knows that they can win the late game, so they're just gonna keep calm. And also, this Dragonon, 1.2k going in his pocket with a Mental Style and a Dimensional Blade. Makes the scene. Blink in and going for Impale for two, waveforms in, get rid of the DJ, back with the gone so fast, next one gonna be Gabby, falling away, turn on his rage, but no, you're not gonna run away, Dragonaut the... is gonna slash that Warlock down, and maybe the Golem too, get back here you Golem, no. Seventeen to seven game score. That's what I'm talking about. It's always a room for comeback for Team Minesi when you have um, we have a Juggernaut and a Morphling in your team. Hey, hi to all the guys in the chat room. You know, I just gotta inform you guys that there will be one more match. Up and it. Gonna be a quite big match too. Uh, MVP Phoenix This is Team Faces Will be casted by Latan and Sonora MVP Phoenix won over Team Minesi yesterday 2-1 And MVP uh, No I'm sorry MVP Phoenix won over Team uh, Execration 2-0 yesterday While Faces won over Team Minesi 2-1 Yesterday Top tower is under attack. What 3k gold in his pocket? Very nice. Scouting on that light dealer. Here comes a wave on scene. Light dealer. Gonna go down this one and try to get inside the creeps. Uh, it's Radiant not that easy to get inside someone. If they don't allow you. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Seventeen to eight game score. The highest net worth now is Juggernaut and Marfling. That's very bad news for Team Exocrane. Just like I mentioned yes, uh, earlier, that it seems like Exocrane having problem on uh, closing the game. Big big problem. And now Minetti is coming back in late game. Now going for the first set of rags. Uh, jumps in and blinks away. Mirato with an eight. Is that gonna be the first set of rags? Minetti been behind for the whole game. And now this is actually the first time that they're gonna come out in front on the spotlight. Jumps in. That fatal bond already came out. Oh, dealing some damage. Fatal bond dealing damage as well. The hi. And Bond, Fatal Bond, and that's two down for Team Execrations already. Miracle still got an edge still, but he's just gonna spin his way out of the base. Raging Potato, running away from the Light Seal, away something, trying to do some shotgun, but cannot kill the Abbot. No, he wait bombs away. Pretty easy racks over there. And checking out, still got an edge. Alright, gonna show you guys some items update at 30 minutes of the game. Take a look at yourself while I'm sipping some water. You know, talking about Miracle a little, you know, it's kind of sad when, when I see people mocking him around that Hey, this guy is a fake miracle. Uh, I mean, I mean the EU miracle, the 9k miracle. Actually, miracle was there before miracle even shine in a Dota 2 scene. He's the real miracle. And Morphin gonna get caught, but he's still alive with the strength gain. Look at that HP gain, but however, he was brought down by execration. Still got some hope for execration.
RR just gonna do some scout. They know that they doesn't have. Oh, something from Miracle slashes Gabby down. That right Silla didn't even turn on his rage. See how easy he can kill a, a, a double kill for the Miracle. Craving for more. It's gonna be the bad rider. Nice by Carapace to stop the teleport and the gem drop. Uh, three double team execration. It's all core heroes of team execration. With a gem, this is gonna take down all the observer wards. That might be another set of racks. Second set of racks down for team execration. Mistake. It's not about a mistake. I think Execration actually got their, their game right. But it's about the hero and it's how Midasty play. Now Marsling went in for Kimo. Wallop goes out because of the shotgun. Light still, however, get rid of the Nexus Sin. They're still trying so hard to stay alive in this game. Uh, Rupi gonna be the next one to go down. The Bat Rider trade himself for it. Uh, it comes a, a Bat Rider need to buy back. Even though they got a buyback, I'm not sure they still. Oh! Flink in! And a stun right away! Juggernaut Unsummoned Freak broken with a life dealer! Uh, welcome to the stun, bro! Uh, not so good, actually. A shotgun uh, dealing tons of damage to the life dealer. He gets inside the bat right and he comes out on top. Free Dava Team in Aski. Don't, don't just play play, la. Uh, even though you got second set.